Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos describing how to use technological tools in the classroom. In this video, I will describe how to use Explain Everything, which is an iPad app that allows you to make screencasts that we'll be using throughout the year. What is a screencast, you might ask? Well, you're watching one. In essence, it is a video presentation with just about limitless possibilities. As this slide shows, with Explain Everything, you can just jump in and start drawing things, talking, and writing. But you'll probably want to incorporate visuals into your presentation. Hence, the first step to create screencasts is preparation. What I do in advance is create a slideshow using PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you can add pictures and text to your liking, which you're already probably familiar with. In addition, what I do is write a script of sorts in the notes section of PowerPoint. While you're more than welcome to just do things off the cuff, it can be a little bit frustrating to try to say the same thing over and over if you're trying to get things across in a specific way. What I do in advance is create a slideshow using PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you can add pictures and text to your liking. You're probably already familiar with the process. I like to write a script of sorts in the notes section of PowerPoint. While you're more than welcome to do things off the cuff, it can be frustrating to say the same thing over and over if you're trying to get a point across in a specific way. After you've got your materials for the screencast prepared, you need to import the material into Explain Everything. The process is not too tough, but you should follow a few specific steps if you want things to turn out right the first time. If you chose to make a PowerPoint slideshow, as I did, I would recommend saving the file as a PDF or a portable document format. If you've ever created a slideshow on a Mac or used Google Documents, and then tried to use it on a different PC running PowerPoint, sometimes things just don't look right. Maybe the computers that you're using don't have the same fonts or the pictures end up in the wrong place. A PDF is in essence a picture of the slide, so it should turn out exactly how you want it to. If you don't have a Dropbox account yet, I would highly recommend that you make one. I have a separate video describing just how to make a Dropbox account and to use it for other educational purposes. Once you have a Dropbox account, what you need to do is save your PDF into your Dropbox folder on your computer. Once your PDF is in Dropbox, you'll be able to import it by clicking on the red box that's found at the top of the screen on this slide. What you'll have to do next is click on the Dropbox icon that's found on the bottom of this slide so that you can search for your file within your Dropbox folder. This may take a little while to load. Once the file is loaded, you need to click on the Choose icon to indicate that this is, in fact, the file that you wanted to import into Explain Everything. Before you do any screencasting with Explain Everything, what you need to do is click on the red boxed icon on the bottom of the screen. What that is is a record button. After you press that button, it will record anything you say or anything that you draw on the screen. Using the buttons that are boxed in red on the left side of this graphic, you can draw pictures to your liking by hand. While I'm not a huge fan of writing by hand, because things don't end up looking very nice or professional when I do it, uh, I just happen to use boxes instead, and I put those boxes in PowerPoint before I import the slides. When you finish with the first slide of your presentation, if you happen to have lots of them, uh, what you can do is click on the icon, the red boxed icon in the bottom of the slide, and you can go forward, backward, or just scan the different slides that you have. It's also very easy to rearrange the order of the slides if you want to change that after you've already imported them. You may not finish making your screencast in one go, and sometimes you may end up accidentally exiting the program. Uh, so what's very important is that you save your project often. Uh, I usually do so by clicking on the Home button in the bottom right of the screen, and I click Yes, I want to override a previous project. You can name it whatever you like and save it as frequently as you like. When you're finished with your screencast after you've saved it, uh, what I would recommend is exporting the video to wherever you would like it to end up being. Uh, I usually export my video to YouTube, but if you wanted to share it with others if you're collaborating, you could export it right back into Dropbox. Uh, make sure that you click on the icon uh, on the bottom of this slide, the export the video. Uh, otherwise, what you'll end up giving someone is the uh, explain everything file that they could go back in and change. There are actually a ton of different options out there for screencasting apps, so why did I choose Explain Everything? Uh, I happen to have experience using it and I've bought it uh, for use in the classroom. It's inexpensive, it's only about $2.99 most of the time. It has nice features but it's easy to use 
And most importantly for me, it works well with Dropbox. Since many people may want a free screencasting tool or you may not have an iPad, I thought I'd go through and just recommend some different resources. Uh, if you have a Mac or a PC, or if you just want to use the web to create a screencast, uh, you can use Screener, found at www.screenr.com. If you have an iPad but you don't want to pay for Explain Everything, Edu Creations is supposed to be a pretty good app. And I couldn't find a single Android app that you could use to create a screencast. So if you happen to know of one, please let me know, and I'll add it uh, to this page. For the features that I need for screencasting, Explain Everything works really well. If you want lots of features and you're willing to fork over more money, uh, Camtasia is an excellent alternative for PCs or Macs. Uh, the problem is it can cost hundreds of dollars. If you want to try it out, if you're interested, you can download a free trial for one month. That is the end of this video explaining how to screencast using the app Explain Everything. If you're interested in learning about more technological tools for the classroom or any biology concepts, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.